8.01 p.m. years later. Tina! chilled last day in Mantanganui yesterday I literally did fuck all like went to the beach you can see I'm pretty brown didn't burn so that's always a plus so I'm walking around at the moment around one of the parks in my hostels I can't remember the name I'll insert the name in the corner um, but it's basically so Rotorua is built on like a geothermal sort of rock formation or something but you can see here that's pretty lit yeah so it's pretty cool that this park is here and there are loads of places where you can go and like um go in like hot pools and like spa jacuzzi types of things um i did consider doing it today but it was just way too hot outside and i think like it's sort of like a rainy day thing that you'd want to do um there's also like a massive park called hell's gate where you could do like mud baths and stuff um but i just didn't think it'd be sort of worth the money i'm not really that into like skin scare skin scare, skin scare. <laughs> it's 
skincare and whatnot, but I'll show you. So this one is pretty cool because it doesn't have like water in it, but you can see the smoke coming out. I'll just film you now. Eh. And that's the other one that was standing up below. Um, now because it's full of sulfur, it basically smells like eggs. Like the whole town smells like rotten eggs, um, which is cool, but like, I mean, I'm pretty used to it, to be honest. I quite like the smell. Um, it's not too bad, so yeah. So this morning I caught the intercity bus for the first time because um, obviously I've been traveling with Stray, but I wanted to come back to Rotorua a night earlier um, and the Stray bus doesn't come until tomorrow. Um, it was pretty cool. I booked it like probably five days before I had to leave and it was only around $14, I think, New Zealand dollars. Um, and it's about an hour and a half bus journey. Um, the only thing I felt bad about is that the bus driver stopped at Rotorua Airport just for me because I hadn't realized that it would stop in town. And obviously I'm staying in town, so yeah, he got a bit angry about it, but I was kind of like, oh, sorry. Um, oh, this is super cool. I have to film this side. You can't really see, but there's hella smoke popping out. like a week so the struggle is real and I'm not a morning person at all so yeah it's around 6 30 a.m. had to get up around 6 um only one snooze though the pro of like staying in a hostel is you can't really have way too many snoozes otherwise it fucks them off so yeah I've done quite well in terms of that can we just talk about how my head is like the map of the world it's literally patchy AF I need to exfoliate pronto um but yeah um despite the early start I actually do like this time of the day just because it's so quiet the world's just waking up <laughs> No, there's just something about, I don't know, just the solidarity of it. Um, so I'm just waiting for my bus and yeah, I've got my coffee. Don't know how far it is. I think it's around an hour and a half to two hours. So I'm contemplating whether to drink it now and then just stay awake or um, have it later. so lame and they should totally work for National Geographic. Oh. Um, 
But yeah, it's about an hour and 45 minute walk. I'm about halfway to three quarters through, um, which is awesome. Um, it's fucking hot, like literally boiling. Um, I think it's around 28 degrees today. Not put any sunblock. Um, and your gal's already brown AF, but it's all good. Let's embrace it. <laughs> Really, really nice color, but it's, I think all kind of algae and dead stuff. Um, so I finished a walk, but I've got about an hour until the bus comes, so a little bit early. Um, even though I'm like fucking small, I do walk really fast, thanks to my friend Sarah for teaching me how to do that. Um, so I pretty much smashed that. Now I'm just gonna have some lunch. I cooked myself some pasta backpacker um but chucked in a few veggies in there to keep it like healthy because i feel like i've not eaten proper meals in like forever um so i just put some aubergine some broccoli and spicy dormio herb sauce mm, that's good i've been thinking about it since this morning so i'm kind of glad i have the downtime now to eat it but, yeah a few moments later. Basically got back to Rotorua after one. Fuck, so shit at the names. Wamangu, Waimangu, Volcanic Valley, and Waiotapu. Um, and I was so tempted to have a nap. Is it just me or are there people there? Well, I know definitely my brother does this. Every time I get into like a bus or a car, I just i can just fall asleep straight away and especially after i've done like lots of stuff um i just get so tired but i was like fuck it nah and i noticed this like vietnamese um like restaurant um and i was like fuck it i'll treat myself to a coffee um so i got a vietnamese iced coffee which i fucking love because oops sorry um i love condensed milk um but yeah, so that was really nice. I had a little read of my book. I'm reading The Bell Jar at the moment. I picked it up from um, my hostel in Mount Manganui. So I like free books. So I dropped off the beach and got myself this one. It's pretty good so far. Really easy read. Um, you know me and easy reads. Even though one of my goals is just to actually read non-fiction books. Last one, hun. Oh, coffee. So... Um, I hadn't, because I bought like instant coffee and I've literally been having that every day, like genuinely just once every day because, because I'm kind of traveling, I don't really need to be like drinking a lot of coffee. Oh, it's just a view of the lake. Yeah. The front is currently under all construction, which is quite sad because it looks really nice. Um, so yeah um anyway because i've just been so used to this is a cute little spot god i'm so bad at trying to keep one conversation when it comes to vlogs so forgive me for that so i can hide away from people and keep vlogging because you know me public vlogging is not my thing yet so essentially point is because i've been drinking like one instant coffee a day um no milk as well um when i had that vietnamese coffee i was literally shaking after it was like fucking strong um so yeah and i've been meaning to buy a jade um necklace for a while so i was wearing like this really nice like wooden blue necklace um which someone i met from byron gave me um but i actually lost it at the beach in raglan when i went into the water like i did think like fuck it take it off but i didn't um so that's quite sad but yeah i've been seeing like jade and like greenstone necklaces ever in new zealand just because it's like basically comes from here um and it has like a really um deep meaning with the maori tribes so and I love green, like green is my favorite color, especially like dark 
like forest green um so i saw some the other day in maori um not maori do I? uh moonstone jade um so it's like a proper official sort of jade um jewelry store um but they're pretty expensive expectedly so um around like 80 the minimum to like a hundred dollar mark um so when when it, i don't usually buy like expensive like material things like i find it really hard to invest in like expensive stuff um especially when it comes to like clothes and jewelry i'm more of like a sales discount cheap kind of gal um which is not really sustainable and that's what i'm trying to do this year as well so many goals um it was really weird i was like sitting in the vietnamese cafe and i could either go left and go to like the um moon jade um store or i went right and saw this like souvenir shop so i went to the souvenir shop thinking that it's probably going to be like as expensive but it was actually like 30 dollars cheaper so i found one for like 49 dollars and i was like I, I was in the shop for like 20 minutes and i ended up chatting to the lady who was in the shop who was actually from Cornwall which was quite cute because we bonded over how I went to Exeter and she lived in Sydney for like a few years as well um and she obviously saw I was struggling <laughs> but I ended up um finally deciding on one I'll show you guys uh, so I, it's basically like it's called the Great New Zealand shop so it's pretty basic that I got it from a souvenir shop but fuck it yeah, I was gonna save. And it is real um, because it has that little authentic um, like piece of paper in it, which I read. Um, I actually read like an article in Culture Trip about where best to get it. Um, Hokitika is where it actually originates from, um, but I'm actually not stopping there because Stray doesn't stop there, unfortunately. Um, and I expect that it'd probably be just as expensive as well. It's like proper. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Such an expert on a haul. <laughs> Jokes. I always find it funny when people do that on like YouTube videos. Um, and this one means Toki. So it's Toki, which means strength and determination. Your gal so strong and determined. Um, it's really nice, but I genuinely, I like the meaning, but also, I much prefer just the design, and I really liked, I've seen it quite a few times, like, with the rope, um, thing, um, and I really, really liked it, so, I like that, but there's also loads of other ones that are really nice, for example, there's a double twist, which means bonding a friendship, a good one to get for a mate, core room, which, which means new beginnings, growth, and harmony, Hey Matau, which is a fish hook, meaning good luck, safe journey over water. So that's quite a good like um like leaving present, I reckon. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that just because I really was like mulling over it and it just felt right and oh wow, I didn't even have to adjust the route. That's it's just a sign, isn't it? And for 40 New Zealand dollars, that's so good. Um, so really happy with that purchase. Yeah. It actually goes really well with the shirt, which I got in Amsterdam like fucking six, five years ago or something. It was the first time I ever went to Amsterdam and I went with my friends from school, Nappers Lappers, shout out. Um, and we went to one of these vintage shops and it literally cost like five euros. Oh my god, there's a bird coming. Should I? Oh no, no. Okay, I'm actually really scared. I'll show you. I think it's just as scared as I am. And she just wants to go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, I got off and left because. It didn't get into the lake, it was coming towards me and I just can't be dealing with that shit right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm, I think I'm just going to keep walking um, around the lake, maybe 
um, venture out into the government gardens because I haven't been there yet. So, yeah, see you later. So, this is the one that I got symbolic of strength, power, authority, determination, and focus. Love it. I think I really need that in 2020. But here are the other ones. It's quite nice. I really needed a bookmarker. So, Simply New Zealand. And they are, you can find them in Auckland, Rotorua, Wellington, Nelson, Christchurch, and Wanaka, and Ternau. So, pretty nice. So, we're coming up to a place called Sulphur Point. Um, and it's defo sulfur central because it smells of rotten eggs. It's so funny, like I literally never notice it anymore until you get like, like some whiffs of it. It's really not too bad to be honest, like I genuinely find it quite satisfying sometimes. <laughs> what does that say about me? I do love eggs though, so yeah.